Hi, I'm Rochelle. And I'm Danielle. We are the mother-daughter team of Godiva Secret Wigs. In this video, we are going to show you every single non-rooted color that the Freedom wig comes in. Yeah! And Freedom is our number one wig style. So get your pen and paper out and just take notes on the colors. We're also going to have a separate video showing all the rooted colors that Freedom comes in. Yes! So let's get started. Okay. So I am wearing the darkest color that Freedom comes in and it is Espresso. And I am wearing the next darkest. We're going in order from light to dark on these. Dark to light. Dark to light, sorry. And this is Cappuccino. So I just want you to really look at the color. So I have Espresso. Rochelle is wearing Cappuccino. So you'll see the little difference. So now I'm going to put on the next color going down, which is going to be dark chocolate. So many of you want us to do videos like this so you can really see the colors next yes. to each other. So hey, this is for you and you and you. We listen. We hear you. We hear you. If there's and any other videos you. you want us to make, let us know. So again, I'm in cappuccino. And now I am in dark chocolate. And we may not be putting them on exactly perfect. We just really want to show you the color. So cappuccino is going to be a warmer brown, where dark chocolate's a little bit cooler brown. Let's see the difference. And the next color is chocolate swirl. Oh, good color. Great color, great blend. So chocolate swirl is the first of the deeper colors to have some highlights around right. the face. Right. And you'll see these fantastic lighter and a little warmer colors. Yeah, oh, it looks so good. So chocolate swirl. Dark chocolate. So the next one I am putting on is ginger brown. So ginger brown is going to be similar kind of to the chocolate swirl, but without those lighter highlights in the front. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little bit lighter kind of color all mm -hmm. over. A little warmer. Right. If you like brown with warmth mm -hmm. or a little red, but not much highlighting, you want it a little more toned down than ginger brown. Amazing. Amazing color. Yes. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You make it look so great. Thank you. I might get dizzy by the end of this video. <laughs> <laughs> I might hurt again. <laughs> and the next color is medium brown. So for those of you that are just looking for a natural brown, maybe mm -hmm. you've never colored your hair. Right or you're just thinking of wigs for the first time, medium brown is just so natural. And what's cool is it has, it's kind of like reminds me of my daughter's hair, where it's like this top part is a little bit lighter brown, but it literally looks like it came from the sun. Like their hair is like right. that, it's just from the sun, whereas the, right. the two different kind of colors, but so real, like it does right. not look like you dyed your hair. And it's not like a dull, average no, no, it's brown. Gorgeous. It's got some richness to it. Yeah. So I think you'll love it. So the next color I'm going to put on is marble brown. So this is going to be a little bit lighter brown and it has more of a highlight to it. Still a brown highlight though, not, not a blonde. Picture you're eating a caramel. <laughs> exactly. I'd like to eat a caramel right now. <laughs> it's got a little, a little golden peeking mm -hmm. through. See, much warmer. Right. So medium brown. Next is Ginger H. Hot dog. So now we're getting into more of the red colors. Right. Warmer tones. So 
so I'm not doing it perfect. It's just for color. Color. But like no. a two second jump. This is a really big difference. Yeah, so these to me are, can't really compare, but I mean, we're going to anyway. But, because they mm -hmm. both have that kind of deeper brown base, but this has like more of a caramel highlight and this has a red highlight. Yes. All right, compare them. You did an <laughs> excellent <laughs> job, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the next one I'm going to put on is, I don't remember, red pepper. Okay. This is a great combo, too. Yes. Red pepper is just brighter. Yes. Good comparison. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see when you get it. <laughs> and yes, I make faces when I do my wig sign up. Yes. <laughs> It's like when you do mascara, you know, like you have to make a certain face. She didn't get that from me. <laughs> so this is red pepper. So like Rochelle said, it's going to be a brighter red color. Than ginger H. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Next. Next is our beloved chestnut. Yes. That is amazing in every wig. I mean, mm -hmm. all of our colors are just fantastic. Whoop. <laughs> Let me do that again. So chestnut is an undeniable red, yes. but it's not a hard red. It's not a fake looking red. It right. is that beautiful auburny chestnut. And with these reds, you don't have to worry about them fading. So the color you buy is the color you're going to have the whole time you have the wig. Yes. No worrying about coloring your hair every week with a wig. So this color next is called Toasted Brown. So it's going to be a light red mixed with brown. It's kind of a you know, light brownish red. It's kind of another one of those that's like hard to describe. Kind of. <laughs> it can be more towards the like light red or more towards the brown. Great color. So again, this is toasted brown versus chestnut. chestnut. And now we're getting into the blonde. So I'm actually going to take go. this off because there's not a comparison right. really. Right. So now we've left the reds and we are heading into Blondeville. Yes. Woo! I look like I was in the wind. <laughs> This amazing color in Freedom, but in all of our other wigs, is Harvest Gold. And it's an outstanding color that still has the depth of the brown, soft right. browns, but gold running through it. A little more what we'd say a cooler color. I, we don't really carry ash colored wigs, right. but I would say this would be one of those. This um, would be the other. And this would be the other. <laughs> So the color I'm wearing is Frosty Blonde. So it is mm. similar in having that medium brown undertone, but it's an even lighter cool color over the top than the Harvest Gold. Yes. So here you go. Have a look. Harvest Frosty. And next we have, oh, Spring Honey. Spring Honey is our beigeier blonde, a soft right. blonde. Very popular blonde color. Really. So the colors we're showing you are not, won't have roots. Right. They will just always be like this, no, no roots, none of the root look. In this wig. In this wig. So some of these colors may come rooted in other wig styles, but in Freedom specifically, they only come how you see them. Mm -hmm. So Spring Honey and Frosty Blonde. Okay. So the next color I am going to be putting on is Vanilla Lush. Oh, yeah. 
So this is going to be a vanilla color with a little lush. <laughs> <laughs> a lush vanilla. <laughs> Some of them, you'll have to bear with me here. It's hard to tuck in all my little dark hairs. <laughs> but you're doing a great job, Thank sweetheart. You. Thank you. Get the picture. So here oh. is Vanilla Lush. So how would you describe this color? It's a little more yellow gold, okay. yeah. I would say. Right. It's not, you know, it's... It's not like a reddish. It's got some oomph to oomph. it. Right. And... <clears throat> not like a red and more like towards the yellow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it's got beautiful, like white blonde or soft gold yeah. blonde highlights mixed with it yeah. that softens up the. It's a little brassy in a good way. Right. So. Like more towards the gold, less towards the strawberry. Yes. Yes. Okay. So spring honey and vanilla lush. And moving on, I hope you're taking notes. We've got gold blonde. It's kind of how we described what you're wearing, right. but a little softer still. I think someone outside did not get the memo that we were shooting the video, <laughs> apparently, so sorry if you hear this noise. <laughs> when they hit that. the wall. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> okay, gold blonde, and it's just a soft, warm, golden blonde. <laughs> So you'll really see the difference between these two. Hope you can. <laughs> so the next one I am going to put on is the lightest non-rooted blonde color that we carry at Freedom In. And this is called Creamy Blonde. It's yes. a gorgeous color. And so it, what's cool is it, it's light blonde, but it has a blend of a lot of different light blonde. So some like almost white blonde and then just a very mm -hmm. light also. If you're not used to our wigs, even when they seem like a monotone color, they have lots of little variations. Of like a, on it's that like a, color. a fine blend of yes. a bunch of colors to right. get. Yes. So this is creamy blonde. The lightest blonde, the end of the road for blondes. <laughs> <laughs> we're here at the end of the mess. <laughs> but hold on, because we're going to gray. Okay, so next, um, I'm going to do the next gray, okay. actually. And I will put this So I'm going to do the darkest gray, which is called Midnight Pearl. So this is going to be a dark brown in the back with a light gray in the front. Now my hair can stick out, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> You're going to do sandy. Yeah. I'm going to do sandy silver. Woo! Now you see myself in this color. <laughs> <laughs> no rush, honey, no rush. <laughs> I'm just going to, yeah, no. I mean, I'd be okay if it went like yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so I'm wearing Midnight Pearl. And I'm wearing Sandy Silver. So yes. look at the fronts and the differences also. Mm-hmm. Brighter, kind of. Yes. And here's a little more so. And then here you're going to really see the difference. So this is going to be a dark brown, where whoop, Rochelle's is a medium brown. And hers is more like the, like the sandy, where mine has more of the pearl color mm -hmm. from light to dark so really in the dark. back yeah so again midnight pearl and then sandy silver yes and then i'm gonna put on the next color which is frosted taupe which is i kind of call it the everything color because it can lean more towards the blondes it can lean more towards the grays and it can lean more towards the browns it's kind of mm -hmm. It really works no matter what color you want to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, it really responds to makeup. All right. of these do. Right. So as you're trying your wigs, when you get your Godiva Secret wigs, try maybe a little different lipstick, a little more blush. Eyebrows are so important, especially on uh, darker wig colors. Right. So here I have on Frosted Taupe and Rochelle has on Sandy Silver. 
You'll see the difference. Hers is definitely darker. And then the last gray Rochelle's going to put on is Freedom in Silverstone, which is going to be the lightest gray that this wig comes in and our most popular gray color right yes, now. Yes, just oh. amazing. So cute. Just fabulous. So again, it has so a lighter, lighter gray in the front, and then it gets a little darker. So these are all of the non-rooted colors that our Freedom wig comes in. Yes. And there will be another video showing the rooted colors that Freedom comes in. So if you didn't quite find your color here, I don't know how you did, but maybe you didn't. If you didn't, make sure you look at the rooted video also because you will see a whole other variety of colors. Right. Thanks so, Thanks so much, much for watching. Bye.